We just had the podcast. Uh, I was just uh, doing the podcast with Michael Miano, um, and we went for about an hour, a little over an hour, hour and fifteen minutes. Um, but um, the title of this video is "The August Debate with Michael Miano is not wor is not worthy uh, of my time." After our podcast, um, and there's different reasons for this. Um, just quite simply, I do not think Michael Miano would be a worthy opponent opponent to debate um, on this topic. Um, if you listen to the podcast, and I'll have it uh, in the comment section, you can listen to it. It's not too audible in some areas, uh, but it's mostly audible. Um, um, but uh, it just became apparent that you know he could not answer my two main points that I brought up. One, I was going to bring up in the debate. And I harped on this and harped on this for months to him. Um, but the first one was um, the resurrection. If the resurrection is part of the gospel, and he said, yeah, it's part of the gospel. And yet the corporate body view is correct. That's the correct view. Therefore, none of Christianity has the gospel. Because resurrection is part of the gospel. Michael Miano in his live feed the other day, responded to me in my live feed, said the gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection, and the resurrection of the saints and the coming of our Lord, First Corinthians 15. Um, so he does he does believe that. Um, and so if the resurrection, um, in his understanding, is part of the gospel, that Israel being raised in AD 70, if that's the gospel, then, not, then Christianity doesn't have that. The 2,000 full preterists in the world have it, but not uh, most of Christianity. They don't have the gospel because they don't have that understanding of uh, a corporate body being raised of Israel in AD 70. Because according to Michael, that's the gospel. That's part of the gospel. Um, my argument on uh, Romans, my exegesis, I did an exegesis on Romans 3.19-26. through 26, Point out that justification is the verdict of the last judgment um, it is the last judgment brought into the here and now um, he, he he couldn't answer that um, and he'll never be able to answer that he had no awareness for of the book of Romans whatsoever or that books have structure sections subsections um, like I said I don't like to say this um, but he's not a wor worthy de debate opponent um, as it is evident after being on the podcast tonight uh, but the podcast was good, um, because it showed me that wasting another six weeks of study is not, it's not worth it. Um, it'll give Michael, uh, free time, more free time for his ministries. Um, I believe I'm, I'm an analytical thinker that has a more advanced understanding of theology, biblical studies, exegesis, hermeneutics, these things. At this time, this is something Michael needs to grow on. Um, if he's going to um, continue to debate or, you know, it's it's something he's going to have to do. And there's things in my life I need to work on as well, for sure. Um, but, yeah, I have posted uh, the link to the podcast um, in the comment section. Uh, the sound quality wasn't the best, um, but most of it is audible. I just listened to it. I want to thank Michael for being humble, gracious, and a caring guy. Uh, I thank him. And taking out my challenge to debate me on the subject of the, the judgment. But after tonight, again, I wouldn't waste my time with that debate format. Um, maybe if it was a podcast like tonight for three hours or something like that, an actual debate going back and forth, um, like a, an actual debate. And this is what I said at the first. And he said, well, let's try um, David King's site, a friend of mine. Because I said, well, let, let's do uh, like a YouTube thing or something if possible. But I agreed, yeah, sure, let's just do the debate. But after tonight, why waste more time and why waste the whole month of August and into September, four weeks? Why waste it? I mean, it's just, it, what's the point of it? When you could have one night, like a night we did tonight, which became apparent that there shouldn't be a second discussion because what's the point? Um, it, it's just, you know, there's no point. Um, and, uh, 
uh, yeah, w- what about doing a, a proper debate, something like that, on a podcast where he would have a 25-minute opening, I would have a 25-minute, 15-minute cross-exam or 15-minute uh, rebuttal, 15-minute rebuttal, cross-exam for five, close, and, you know, uh, ha- exchange, an actual e- debate instead of uh, the Predators. Um, it's a good setup on the site, but the setup, the format of the debate isn't great. It, it, I mean... If I if I had a challenge on my hands, I would go through with it with for the debate. But since I don't think he's a worthy opponent, and I'm not trying to be rude, um, it's just it's just there's no point. Um, uh, every week, uh, ten page paper, forty five minute video, then a ten page paper five or ten page paper, forty five minute video at the end, and two five page papers and twenty five minute videos so you have to do it every week as you respond to your opponent you, you respond in a week apart this isn't a real debate you know so and for me to waste my time up until then six weeks and then a month you know that's that's over two months that's the summer wasting the summer um uh with that type of debate format when we can get it done in one night you know uh the way debates are usually done, they're usually done in publicly, for, formally, or online, audibly at least, if you can't do video, and with cross-examination, with uh, uh, or rebuttals, openings, closings, um, in person, you know, uh, the interaction, um, not this debate format. It's very, I try to explain it to people, they're like, why don't you do a real debate? And I said, well, I wanted to originally, but, you know, I, I agreed to do this, and Again, if it was, if I thought Michael, you know, could bring something, you know, I mean, it's just that that could refute uh, what I was saying. I don't think he can. Um, and, and I just don't think overall, theologically, I would debate Michael on anything. It's just, um, it, it just stuff goes over his head uh, at times, I think. But I'm um, not trying to be rude, but I'm just just stating the facts. So that's why I'm not doing the debate, guys. I mean, you can listen to tonight, um, and you can see very clearly. It's very evident. I had people message me that um, uh, he was bombarded, um, uh, you know. So uh, um, it's just I'm not going to waste my time with other studies I have, Lutheran studies, doing studies with the pastor, and he wants me to do more advanced studies. Um, and I had to put them on hold. and. Other studies I was doing, uh, working on a manuscript, uh, uh, learning Greek, uh, things like that uh, with my studies and other things in my life putting on hold, um, you know, uh, preparing. Um, so now that now that tonight we had tonight, it was an eye opener for me. Why prepare? I mean, why am I worrying about, you know, doing 12 hour, 15 hour study sessions? What what am I worried? I, I've what uh what would I be worried about? You know, I mean, what's the point? Uh, so okay, that's pretty much it, guys.